Hello. Hello friends, this is Professor Arjun Chakraborty. Welcome to my world of Vedic Astrology. Dear friends, some of you may still remember me from my previous visits to the European countries and my previous meetings with you. But for some of you, I may be not so known. Therefore, I would like to introduce myself before I speak on Vedic Astrology. I am Professor Arjun Chakraborty, dealing with Vedic Astrology as a specialist for the last 17 years in Kolkata, Friends. India. Before I speak on the utility of Vedic Astrology, I believe I owe you an introduction of the subject itself. Uh, well, it's a very old, sacred and ancient subject, although a lot of Western historians may tend to disagree with me, me along with a lot of other Vedic astrologers and Vedic historians believe that Vedic astrology dates back to the old, dates back to 3000 BC and even earlier. You must have heard about Mahabharata, the longest epic. Even in Mahabharata, we find mention of Vedic astrology and it is said that Sage Parasara, who is called the father of modern Vedic astrology, was the father of Vyas, who has composed Mahabharata. Therefore, you see, it dates back to at least 5,100 years from now. Now, about Vedic astrology, I should tell you some very interesting facts. Its utility. Its utility is extremely unique. You see, it has mainly two sides which help us lead a successful, happy life, both materially and very importantly, spiritually. A part of Vedic astrology deals with advices or consultations through your horoscope or, or even through a query horoscope. I can give, give you some interesting but very important information on Vedic astrology. Dear friends, through Vedic astrology, we can help you in mainly two different ways. Firstly, through consultations, through giving you proper advices on how to go about your life academically, personally, professionally, physically, I mean all aspects of your life. If you get the right advices from the right people, then you can lead a very healthy, a very happy and a very successful life both professionally, materially, and very importantly, spiritually. I believe strongly, along with the advisory part of Vedic astrology, the remedial part plays a very crucial role. Vedic astrology deals with several kinds of remedies, and I believe and I am absolutely sure that among all the styles of astrology that we can come across in different corners of the world, Vedic astrology has maximum information on the remedial measures which can help to make our lives less problematic and more successful. So regarding the remedial measures, I must say that the oldest possible remedial measure are homas or yagyas through which in the presence of Lord Agni or Lord Fire, we try to connect with the Almighty. We try to convey our wishes, we try to convey our requests, we try to convey our feelings to the Almighty. And then I believe that Almighty listens to them. And if our karma permits, then our wishes can be fulfilled. But yagyas and mantras are a part and along with that, for the less spiritual people and people who are not so well aware of the yajyas, mantras and these kinds of information, for them, using gemstones or using precious and semi-precious stones are also very important. They also play an important role in making our life relatively easy. Although, I must tell you, that only remedies cannot solve all our problems and it cannot improve all the issues of our life. You must remember, you must remember my words that to improve our life, we will have to balance the negative karmas that we have acquired in the various previous incarnations. So only remedies cannot help. 
we will have to we will have to be sorry for the negative karmas for whatever we have done wrong and we will have to try to be fair and justified to the people around us even to the animals and birds to everybody we should believe that they are creations of god and we should try to be honest with them and we should try to be generous with them and through good karma along with remedies this is what i mean remedies are important they are useful if supported or complemented with good karma then definitely it is possible for us to lead a much happier and a much more satisfied life so this was one part of vedic astrology that i decided to speak about today now along with this i think i should disclose something something very special something uh, very mysterious you see some people ask me like i have faced these questions wherever i have been to the different universities in europe to the different spiritual centers and even scientific centers of india i have faced this question that how can you justify that astrology is a science now i tell them i don't want to justify that astrology is a science because if i try to justify that astrology is a science then i think i will do injustice to the subject astrology begins where science ends that is what i believe and that i think is true it is a divine subject it's an extremely spiritual subject and it involves such amazing things that science and scientific explanations cannot explain so it is something way beyond science therefore we must remember that when we speak about astrology when we think and meditate about astrology we will have to believe in the almighty we will have to believe in the religions like hinduism like jainism buddhism which has preached reincarnations which has preached that we suffer or we enjoy the fruits of our karma which is commonly known as prarabdha let me tell you there are two kinds of karmas dridha karma and adridha karma so a part of the karma which is very rigid cannot be altered at all in the current life the results have to be suffered through astrology it is possible to determine which part of the predictions will definitely come true no matter how much we try to alter it but at the same time there is a part of dridha karma or less rigid karma which is modifiable so if we know more about vedic astrology it will guide us and tell us in what way our karma is trying to lead us and in what way we can alter our fate or we can modify the future that is awaiting us friends today in this video i have spoken to some extent about the mysterious sides of vedic astrology but keep up with me in the next video i will really try to disclose more mysterious facts of vedic astrology and let you know which parts of our karma can be altered which planets govern them and which planets are responsible for the dridha karma which the results of which we will have to suffer or enjoy so goodbye for now and see you very soon